Hi guys, this is JB and Minot, and these are my pickups for the month of October. There are a lot of them. I went on vacation for a week here. Uh, I didn't go anywhere, just went to Bismarck and looked around. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I bought uh, four Game Boy Color games, WDL Thunder Tanks, Ms. Pac-Man, Special Collect Color Edition, Double O Seven, The World Is Not Enough, and Austin Powers, Oh Behave. I think it's a bunch of mini games featuring Austin Powers and some of the characters from the uh, Austin Powers movies. Okay. Okay, and I got a Game Boy game, Superman. And uh, from uh, Retro Game Treasure, I got a pristine Game Gear game, The Lion King. Of course, uh, The Lion King's being released on the Switch this week, along with Aladdin. I think The uh, Lion King, so there's that. And from Retro Game Treasure, I got a... Uh, and I showed these last week on my uh, unboxing video, but uh, as you can see, it's the boxes, the, you know, these paper boxes don't always, uh, and this is upside down, is it? Maybe? I don't know. No, it's not. It's just sideways. These cardboard boxes, they, you know, I don't see why people collect the boxes so much. I can understand the DS boxes, because the DS boxes are nice and hard like this one. You know, it's, this is a PSP box, but it's nice and hard. But these boxes, you know, you open them up, you got to practically tear them up to open up the game, so. Okay, I got a couple of PSP games. I haven't gotten any PSP games in a while. I've gotten over 400 PSP games in my collection. They're not shown here. Uh, they're in the other room because I don't have a game room. Shrek the Third. Let's see what it's got. It's got, uh, it's got the manual and the game, of course. And you got NBA 10, the inside, or the NBA, the inside 10. So there's that. And it's got the manual. This case is a little bit broken. It's not the best case in the world. I'll have to find a new one sometime. Yeah, it doesn't fully really close. And I can't keep the game in the box. So I got to do something about that. Okay, now for a uh, 3DS game, or excuse me, a DS game, which, uh, as you can see, I've got a boatload of those. Uh, I've got over 700, and uh, I thought I had this one, Legend of Spyro, The Eternal Night. And this one's got, uh, it's got the manual. The back page there. Now a 3DS game I bought for four bucks. This looks like a kiddies game, but you know, it was four bucks, so I didn't pass it up. Hot Wheels Battle Force 5. And uh, it's based off Cartoon Network. There's the manual. Okay, and I bought a Wii game. I bought this at a Goodwill. I finally, I actually found a good game at a Goodwill around here. Usually, you go into a big city, some of these guys, they go Goodwill hunting, and they find a whole bunch of treasures. So I don't know where they're getting them. But anyway, Domino Rally. Let's see. From UFO, so you know it's an El Cheapo game. Looks like a platformer featuring a domino. Or a racing game featuring a domino. Who knows? But it was cheap. It was like two bucks, I think. Now for some PS4 games. Nino Kuni the Second Revenant Kingdom. I bought this from Walmart. Apparently, or not Walmart, but Target. Apparently, this game's not selling well because uh, I bought it from Target for less than six bucks. Well, no, less than seven bucks. It was in their clearance rack. So there's that. I like uh, uh, what I've played of it so far. Nino Kuni One. I found out recently that uh, Family Dollar does uh, video games. And they just built a family dollar here in Minot, but as I was going from Bismarck to Minot, there's a little family dollar in between. So I decided to stop. What the heck? It's, it's my time off. I went and checked it. And I found this. Uh, geometry, fully sealed. 
Geometry Wars. Dimensions Evolve for 8 bucks. Oh, it says this game was pre-owned. Okay, well, I guess they must have resealed it then. That's okay. There's that. Here's a couple of games I bought either cheap or used. Nio. From Team Ninja. So, from, uh, looks like a Devil May Cry type game. Middle Earth Shadow of War. I played through uh, Shadow of Mordor. It was, it was a pretty good game, so I was looking forward to the sequel. I bought this really cheap. Apparently this didn't sell for very well either. And I bought this for like nine bucks at an outlet store. It's fully sealed except for this. Evolved. Or Evolve. Okay, now I bought a boatload of uh, classic NES games. I tend to buy my NES games cheap right now. I'm not willing to pay more than, say, 10 to $12 on an NES game. Uh, hopefully with all these collections coming out and with uh, all these games streaming online from Nintendo and whatnot, a lot of these games will start to go down in price. Qbert. I thought I had this one, but I didn't. Great game. I love Qbert. I bought these uh, next set of games from a, uh, a young lady who was selling them off. Uh, I recently discovered Facebook Marketplace, and she was selling them. I bought them, and they were selling them really cheap. She didn't know what the value was, but uh, I gave her 25 bucks because she seemed like a nice person. So, But uh, she had a bunch of... Uh, she watches uh, Loves TV game shows, so that's where these come from. MTV Remote Control. Super Mario Brothers 2. Wait a minute, this might have been on a... Uh... I wonder if I got this from... I can't remember. But anyway, Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah, I think I bought that from her too. I can't remember all the games I got from Retro Game Treasure. Classic Concentration. It's a match game. And Pictionary, and it's got, you have to forgive me, it's got some writing on it. I didn't put it there, but. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got Ninja Kid. Apparently, I found out that I have the Game Boy version of Ninja Boy. I think they're from the same company. And this one's from uh, Bandai, Bandai America, so. Commando from Capcom. I could have sworn I already had this game, but apparently I was wrong. Spy vs. Spy from uh, Kemco. I've already got it for the Game Boy. I don't know if they're the same version or if they play the same way. There's that. Amagon from uh, what come from a game called from a place called Sammy. Apparently it's not uh, too common because I paid seven bucks for it instead of the usual four. <laughs> oh, well, here's a shooting game: helicopter versus a uh, armed vehicle. Silkworm. Spelunker. Demon Sword from Taito. From Taito, however you pronounce it. The same people made Space Invaders. And from Hudson Soft, Adventures of Dino Riki. It's from Hudson Soft, so they make some pretty good games. And Bigfoot. I don't know what induced me to buy. I think I was trade. I think that was a trade-in. And last but not least, for my NES games. Dig Dug 2. I love Dig Dug. This was nine bucks, so it's from uh, Bandai. Okay, now for some uh, Super NES games. I bought this one yesterday. Jim Power: The Lost Dimension in 3D. I think this is. I think they had 3D glasses for this at one time, but uh, it's got a weird scrolling. The background scroll backwards, and some people say they get kind of ill just trying to play the game. I saw the long. 
uh, playthrough. Looks like a pretty decent uh, platformer. This one I know I got from Retro Gaming Treasure. Super Mario World. And it's in pristine condition. I thought I already had it, but I didn't. So here's a game I got for 12 bucks uh, because I hadn't seen it anywhere. Flashback, the quest for identity. I hope it's not the same flashback that I just got on the Switch, but there's that. Okay, now we're going to go into some Switch games. I got a boatload of them, too. I spend a lot of too much money sometimes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go over some limited run games that I bought at Best Buy just this month. Best Buy, you got to keep, if you, if you look up Best Buy on the, on, the, on the web and you're very careful and you keep up, there, there's a lot of uh, Best Buy, uh, limited run games that uh, they sell at Best Buy. It might not be the same as the ones they sell online, or they might not be the same covers anyway, the different covers. But uh, if you're just willing to play the games, you can buy these uh, at Best Buy. And uh, relative, still relatively cheap, regular prices, but usually no more than 30 bucks a piece. Transistor, which they say is a uh, RPG type game, top down. Aegis Defenders, Momodoro, Reverie Under the Moonlight. They say this is the fourth in a series in Japan. It's uh, apparently a Metro Metroidvania type game which I love those, but this is supposedly the fourth in the series in Japan. Here, I don't know how many they've had, ever made, if any. This game's getting real good reviews. Forager. Wait a minute. Bumble Bumble. Oh, I'm sorry. Forager's not a limited run game. I apologize for that. Forager I got from GameStop, but I had to get it because... From what I heard about it, I heard nothing but fantastic. These two are limited run. Freedom Planet, which appears to be a platformer fighter game, action platformer. Maybe in the vein of uh, Lost Vikings. Rogue Legacy, a rogue type game. And they're all sealed. But they'll be open soon because I'll play them to check them out. Okay, this game I got used for uh, from a local game store that just opened not too long ago. They sell mostly magic. They emphasize magic big time. But uh, they also have a little side business of some video games, not too many. Fire Emblem, Three Houses. I like Fire Emblem, and I've heard nothing but good things about this one. This game I wasn't going to buy for a long time, but I figured it would add to my collection. It cost me less than 13 bucks at clearance at, tar at Target. Ugly Dolls, based on the movie, which looks stupid. I think it's a bunch of mini games featuring the Ugly Dolls. I bought these games from Walmart in their $20 rack. Ben 10. ATV Drift and Tricks. All Star Fruit Racing. And Guyana Sisters Twisted Dreams Ultimate Edition. I've seen this on a number of consoles. Okay. I bought most of these from GameStop. Atelier Riza, Even Darkness and the Ever Darkness and the Secret Hideout. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I have to let my wallet I'm probably not gonna get a lot of games for November because uh I gotta let my wallet rest. You know, we got Christmas coming up and whatnot and uh finish off paying some bills, getting caught up. Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate 2, both enhanced edition, and as far as I know. Both games are on the cartridge. Planescape Torment and Icewind Dale. Two on one. And I apologize for any glare. Vampire, which is a port. 
Some people like it, some people don't. I haven't played it. This game is like, is they kind of compare it to, uh, oh, what do they call it? Advanced Wars. But people who played it love this game. Uh, retro turn-based tactics. War Groove. It's kind of, like I said, it's an art of, it's a Advanced War clone. But they say it's a really good one. Killer Queen Black. Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. It's basically an adventure style game where you're looking around a, a scene and you're looking for clues to solve a mystery. Trooper Brook, Brook, another one. I got these in one day, some of them in one day, some of these story based ones because they were really cheap. They're being sold at a discount at a GameStop. Let's see what's. And last of the story driven ones, Raven, the Raven remastered. Basically, these are search and uh, seek uh, adventure games, you know, where you're trying to look for clues to a puzzle or look for clues to a, a mystery. Destiny Connect TikTok Time Capsule Edition TikTok Travelers. Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle. It's a fighting game. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch, which is a port from the uh, originally the uh, PS3, and I think they remastered it for the PS4, and now they brought it to the Switch, and it's on handheld. So it's a beautiful, beautiful game. Beautiful looking game. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. I bought this earlier in the month when I had some extra money. I like the Yu-Gi-Oh! games. I'm not good at them, but I like them. Okay, I bought this pre-owned. I said, why not? Big Bunk Hunter Arcade. Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. This is kind of like a... Uh, Mario 64 type clone. It's a 3D uh, platformer. I've got the, there's another ukulele. I forget the, I think it's just ukulele, but it was from Limited Run Games, sold at Best Buy, which I got, and it was, it was a pretty fun game. So I expect this one, they, this one's not getting great reviews, but it doesn't look half bad. Trine 4, The Nightmare Prince. I just got through playing some of the Trine games, and they're excellent. Uh, I apologize for the glare. But there's that. Basically, you're playing a wizard. Huh. I might have mentioned Tri-4 in my last uh, video. I hope not. <laughs> North Guard. This is kind of a real-time strategy game, if I'm not mistaken. That is uh, ported off of other consoles. Roman Rumble. In Las Vegas. Asterix and Obelix, XXX2. It's basically kind of a 3D platformer puzzle type, brawler type game where you're playing two characters, Asterix and Obelix, and you're, you're you know, beating up Roman soldiers and you're finding exits and looking for traps and whatnot. It's a pretty fun game so far. I played this on the PS4 and I loved it. Sniper Elite 3 Ultimate Edition, all DLC included, by the way. Uh... I enjoy the hell out of this game. It's a very short game if you know how to play it. If you suck at these kind of games, if you're not very good at it, starting off, you know, it takes a while. But uh, there's not very many, there aren't very many missions in it. But it's still a great game. If you like these games, if you like sniper games, they're fun. Okay, last but not least, I got The Witcher Wild Hunt. I had to get this game. Uh, everybody's giving it great reviews. I love open world games. I love fantasy games. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick, see what you got. Which isn't really much. You got the game. Okay. And you got this. And it's got a, a card that says, Dear Gamer, 
Welcome to the massive open world filled with stories that touch the soul, adventures that thrill and keep you exploring. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. You got uh, a map. Rather huge map there. And you had to buy it this way. This is the only edition they sold, so... And it wasn't any more expensive than a regular edition. You got a couple of stickers. And you got a, uh, a book, a little pamphlet talking about Geralt and some of his friends and enemies and whatnot. And that's about it for that box. Anywho, those are all of my games for the month of October that I bought. Uh, I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a great November. Uh, have a happy holidays for the holidays coming up. In the meantime, uh, I'll talk to you soon. If you like, go ahead and give a thumbs up. This is just a quick video to uh, get you through 20 minutes of your weekend. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, God bless. Bye-bye.